What is that one thing behind all manifestations, behind all creation? We're going to talk about that tonight. This is Tom Karen with the Be Something Wonderful studio of Higher Consciousness in San Diego, California, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Welcome back, guys. Good to see you. I want to talk about desire. We've touched on desire a few times from a few different angles. And the first thing I really want to point out is desire is really the energy of creation. It is, it is the start of all manifestations, big and small, right? God, I mean, really, God, is a, God gave us that gift of desire, right? God, God's desire was to become us, and so we, we could become him, right? Love, and that pure love from which we come, that pure love of God, is about, exp it's about expanding. It's never about shrinking. It's never about limitations. It's always about the unlimitedness of love and expressing that love in many different ways. That's expansion. That's growth. That's what desire is, right? Desire is expansion. It's love. It's, 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 the, it's the love of the universe uh, expressing itself in the infinite amount of ways that it can, right? It's from which we come, guys. Everything, everything is the effect of desire. Everything. So, so the great causer is, is God, that, that, that formless substance, that, that field of infinite potential, that consciousness that is unconditioned. We condition it by our desires, by what we, what we intend and what we, what we manifest here in physical form. So everything is about the effect of desire. Here's the thing, though. We've been taught, really, um, in this, it, probably from when we were little, that desire can be bad, that you've got to block desire. You can't have this, or you should fear having desire. desire. Desiring money is bad. Money is the root of all evil. Desiring sex is bad. Desire is bad thing. You shouldn't have desire. Guys, we shouldn't fear desire. We shouldn't control it. We shouldn't block it. All of that is, all of that is, is fear and shrinking. God, God's not about limitation, right? God gave us desire to, to manifest, to be, do, or have anything we want. Desire is good. It's good. Well, we, the only time where it doesn't serve us is when we, when we load it up, and I've talked about this before, with resistance. And this is resistance. You, can't, you shouldn't suppress desire either. We've been taught this, right? Suppress our desires. Be good, uh, we, we've been taught to be limited. We've been taught to fear desires. We've been taught to suppress them, right? Guys, you can't, that's like suppressing God or fearing God, right? You, you are part of God. You are part of that seed. That you can't suppress love. You can try, but it's going to come out. <laughs> and you're always going to feel that disconnect, right? It's the source, right? It's the source of God. Desire is that direct connection with God. It's that direct source. So, so I, wanted to, I wanted to take the heat off desire because I think um, it depends on the spiritual teacher you talk to. I, Abraham Hicks talks about desire as a good thing and wanting things as a good thing. It's only when we load it up with, I don't have it yet, um, we get attached to our desires. I talked about attachment in the previous uh, lesson. It's that attachment and that obsession when it becomes an obsession. Guys, desire is good, but just know that whatever you desire and you manifest, you can create it again and again and again in something different. Don't get attached to them. Just keep creating, right? You could give everything up and then create it again if you're in that love, if you're in that state of creation. It's our fears of limitation is what, and, and then we, when we fear of losing. We're fear of losing our life, that's the big fear. We're fear of losing money, we're fear of losing uh, love. These are the fears that we walk around with when you should, f that there's nothing to fear. You, you only lose it by fearing to lose it. You cannot get this wrong. It's good to desire. It's good to want it. The other reason we suppress desires is because we fear that we can't get it. And then we have that whole fear of not being able to achieve our goals or not being able to be who we want to be or not being able to have that love, right? Automatically, as soon as we have a desire, that fear sets in. 
This is what suppresses our desires. This is what makes desire funky and weird. <laughs> it's not supposed to be funky. It's not supposed to be weird. Desire is good, right? It's us that's putting the, it, it's us loading it up with all that, that, that baggage. Stop loading desire up with the baggage. Make it a pure desire. We're going to talk more about this when we hit reality transurfing. Vadim Zeeland talks about pure intention, which is a pure desire, right? It's just the decision to have. It's the choice to have what you want. And without the resistance, without loading it up of the fear of not getting it, without the resistance of losing it once you get it, right? All of that's inside of us, right? We just, this is what happens, right? We, we load ourselves up with all this resistance. You get to choose. So don't fear, don't suppress, but choose. Choose what you want. Desires are good. Right? When God created the world and created the planet, he said they were good. It's good. Say it, guys. It's good. Desire is good. Let's get the, let's stop. Desire is getting a bad rap. And I'm here to unwrap it. Okay? Desire is good. What we gotta do is master desire. Don't try to control it. Right? Controlling is different. Controlling is limitation. Controlling is fear-based. Control is shrinking. Control is not God. God is about embracing. God's about releasing. God's about love. God's about allowing. Releasing, allowing. Right? Not controlling. The way to your master desires is, guys, is to feel your desire. You should be constantly asking yourself what you want and practice it to a point that you don't, get that you don't get that fear on the other side of it. You don't get that doubt on the other side of it. You don't get that feeling bad about it on the other side of it. Right? You don't have to. Right? We, it, desire is good. That's how you practice it. Ask for what, you know, ask yourself what you want without limitation, without holding yourself back. And when that fear comes in, go, wow, that's interesting. Observe it, right? Be the observer. Know that you can have anything, everything you want. We're going to talk more about desire and how to really harness that. But, but part of it is the gratitude as well, right? Use gratitude as, 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 that, as that amalgam. We talked about the amalgam. Use that as your amalgam, right? Desire is your direct connection to source. You are source, right? You come from that love. We have just grown up and we were taught from when we were little that we can't have everything we want. That's not how the world works, we were told. Guys, that's, how the, that's actually how the world works. That's how divinity works. That's how the universe works, right? The only way we cannot get a response is if we put the resistance in the path, if we, put, if we block ourselves to it. Otherwise, you can have what you want, and you ought to, and you should. Yeah? Yeah, and, 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 and wealth and love, all that's a good, good one, right? We, we have so many... So many false beliefs and bogus perceptions of money and love, right? Relationships and, and all that. We've, we've loaded it up, right? Imagine what you could do if you're wealthy, right? Who you could help. It's enabling. It's good. It's a good thing. And you can have anything you want. It's your choice. That's what I wanted to hit right now. Love it. Love desires. Just love it all. Don't, it's not the source of evil. Don't judge it. We talked about judging. Don't suppress it, fear it, or control it, or block it. All of that is fear-based living, and that's not your connection to God. The connection to God's open. The connection to God's love. The connection to God is, love, is, uh, is allowing, right? The connection to God is forgiveness, not judgment, right? And the good news is, if you feel that, if you have a desire, when you're, when you're in that exercise of asking what you want, you should be doing that continually and put no limits on it and, and, and no fear that you can't get it. Have fun with it. Make it a game. That way it takes the heat off. When you make something a game, because after all, life is in the end a game. It's a play, right? We're here for a short time. We're playing our parts. We can play any part we want. Uh, once you make it a game, you take the heat off it. You take the, the importance off it, which we'll talk about in reality transurfing. I want you to practice this. Put no limits. Don't limit. Do you think God feels limited? No. Do you think God, do you think God can imagine limiting his desires? His desires is to have love expand and create. That's what we're here for. We're an extension of him. Oh, gosh, guys. It's, it, that's what we're here for, right? So you don't have to go digging stuff up and, and fixing bogus beliefs. Put new ones on, top, on them. 
those will go away as you, you know, a thought's just a, a belief's just a thought you keep thinking, right? Right. I, I know a lot of people uh, they're taught they oh you gotta you gotta do this this and this before you can even do that. No, you can you can desire now. You can want now. You can be the person that you want to be now. There are no limits. We'll talk more about this, guys. This is desire. It's unlimited. Yeah, and uh, just don't load it up with resistance. Okay, guys. This is Tom Karen with the Be Something Wonderful Studio of Higher Consciousness in San Diego, California where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the subscription button, uh, hit the notification bell so you never miss a video. Comment and share the videos. That's how we get our message out. Yeah. This is Tom. Until next time, see you soon.